Hi everybody, my name is Miss Heaney and today we are going to be talking about subjects and predicates. In basic sentences, there are subjects and predicates. How we can figure out where the subject is and where the predicate is, is we are looking for the verb. The verb is the action word of the sentence and this can help signal where the subject ends and where the predicate begins. Let's look at our first sentence together. It says, our class plays games. What we're looking for is the verb. The verb is the action word. If you can act this word out, you have found the verb. In our class plays games, which word is the verb? I know that plays is the verb. So what we're gonna do is draw our line here, the subject is on the left side and the predicate is on the right side. Our class subject plays games predicate and we know because we have this verb that signals it. Let's look at our second sentence. The sun shines on the playground. Which word is the verb, the action word? In this sentence, shines is the verb. So where should we draw our line? We should draw our line before the word shines. The sun is the subject. Shines on the playground is the predicate. Let's look at the last sentence. My friend eats their snack. Which word is the verb? In this sentence, eats is the verb. So where should we draw our line? We're gonna draw our line right before the word eats. My friend is the subject, eats their snack, is the predicate. Now we're gonna talk about simple subjects and predicates. So what we saw up here is the complete subject and predicate. Complete means it's gonna be maybe one word, but usually more than one word. Our simple means that we are picking out one word. Our process is still the same. Our class plays games. Which word is the verb? Yeah, it's plays. So I'm gonna draw the line where the, the verb is. The verb is right here, so I'm gonna draw my line right there. Simple means we're picking out one word. In our subject, what is the actual subject? Is it the word our? Or is it the word class? The class is actually the subject. So this is the simple subject. In the phrase plays games, which word is the most important? Let's take a look at this. What does the class do? The class plays. So this would be the simple subject, and this would be the simple predicate. Let's try another one. Our sentence says, the sun shines on the playground. Which word is the verb? The verb we've already talked about is shines. Where am I going to draw my line? I'm going to draw my line before the word shines. Let's take a moment to think about what the simple subject is and the simple predicate. In our complete subject, which word is actually the subject? Is it the word the or is it the word shines? I'm sorry, the word sun. The word sun is actually the subject. The sun can do something. 
Let's look at our complete predicate. Shines on the playground. In shines on the playground, what is something that the sun can do? The sun shines. Let's look at our last one together. My friend eats their snack. Which is the verb? Eats. Where am I going to draw my line? My line to separate my complete subject and my complete predicate is right here before the verb. Let's look at our subject. My or friend. Which word is the simple subject? The simple subject is the word friend. That's the one word I can pick out that does an action. My complete predicate is eats their snack. Friend does what? Friend eats. So eats is going to be the simple predicate. So remember, if I have simple, simple means I'm picking out one word. If I have complete, it can be more than one word. And remember that we are looking for the verb and we're drawing the line right before the verb to separate complete subject and complete predicate. I hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching.